Welcome to this new lesson. This is one week lesson plan for intermediate to advanced learners of English. Uh, the objective of this lesson is to enhance the language proficiency of intermediates to advanced ESL learners through engaging and challenging activities across the four language, language skills, listening, speaking, reading and writing. The uh, level of the students is intermediate to advanced learners. Uh, five days a week classes are being conducted for one week. We have a listening day first. We uh, are going to practice listening and speaking skills. And the objective is improving listening comprehension and practice speaking in context. Uh, activity, listening activity. We are going to introduce an audio clip or podcast related to a current topic uh, event or topic of interest. Uh, also, we are going to provide questions uh, to the students to answer individually or in pairs after listening to the audio and then students will be encouraged to reflect their, uh, re reflect their observation on the content. The students will also be engaged in, the, in kind of a group discussions and um, they will also be facilitated with the moderator or the respective teacher. Day 2, we will focus reading vocabulary and uh, developing vocabulary, building vocabulary. The objective of this uh, week or the, this day would be enhancing reading comprehension and expanding vocabulary. Okay, reading passage, students will be advised to read the given passage and uh, then they will be also be asked to uh, use those uh, strategies that uh, we have already told them, I mean like scanning, scanning, skimming and you know other note taking highlighting phrase underlining and then they can uh, they will also also ask be uh, asked to discuss the content with their class and uh, reflect their observation write uh, their opinion or discuss their opinion okay and uh, they will also be asked to write uh, introduce new vocabulary words from the reading passage to their class Okay, students will be asked to engage in activities like synonym, antonym exercises, com context-based word usage, and word mapping. Okay, day three would be speaking and writing. Uh, promote the objective would be promote effective communication through speaking and writing activities. Here, the format would be role play activities. The students will be assigned uh, divided into small groups for role play scenarios such as job interviews or customer service interactions. Students perform their role plays uh, with a focus on natural language uh, use and appropriate expressions. Writing tasks, presented writing form related to a social issue or current event. Have students write a persuasive essay or opinion piece expressing the viewpoints on the given topic okay day four would be grammar and language learning language review reinforce uh, grammar's concept and review language structures okay grammar review focus on gra grammar specific activities have uh, and those uh, grammar topics that students they have learned previously okay provide grammar exercises to the students to practice so that they can improve the target language and their structure Languages. Students will also be involved in language games where they will be asked to improve their language skills. Okay, engaging students in language games such as words, puzzles, uh, grammar, bingo, or vocabulary, charades, or reinforced language concepts in a fun way. Okay, day fifth would be project and presentation. Objective of this uh, day would be integrating language skills in a culminating project okay lastly students will be asked to submit a project that requires uh, them to use uh, reading listening speaking writing skills students could create a presentation on a cultural topic combining research visuals and oral presentations presentations allow students to present their topics in front of the class students they get confidence their you know language skills their comprehensive skills and their body language eh, all these skills are being judged and then homework is really an optional thing you can you know give them 
to give give your students and you know homework and then the you can also assess their you know work work as well you know for example you can assign relevant home tasks throughout the week such as listening to podcasts reading articles or completing language exercising online okay students language proficiency could also be observed through the participation in the class activities through performance or speaking and writing activities and understanding of reading passages and providing feedback on their strengths and in areas for improvement to support their continued language improvement and it's really a good strategy that you need to give your feedback at the end of a uh, each activity because when you give your feedback to the students 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 they really get encouraged and they get motivated and they you know perform really well in their exercises that's all for today you know uh, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next lecture if you have any questions so you can just ask me uh, that's all and this is end of the week and these were just the uh, uh, points that we discussed and uh, that's all thank you thank you